All right, this is the 7.1. Now we're going to adding and we're going to subtracting of polynomials. First, let's go over some basic vocab, okay? All right, so a set of numbers is closed under an operation when the operation performed on any two numbers in that set result in a number in that set. What that means is this, okay? So if you add Right. If you add a number to another number, it's going to be equal to uh, a number. All right. So notice that this is, let's say, all integers, right? But let's say that you, um, <clears throat> what is not, so this is closed. What is not closed, all right? would be something like this, okay? A number multiplied by an other number is gonna be equal to a number, okay? So, let me explain. So do you see how this is multiplication times a negative of a multiplication? So this becomes a negative. So here, this is not close, right? Okay, so. Now, this has advanced repercussions, but for you, you just need to remember this. The set of polynomials is closed under addition and subtraction. So that means, okay, here, if you add x plus x, it becomes 2x. Do you see how this is? This is 1 degree. This is 1 degree. And the answer is also one degree okay do you see here it stays it stays stays in the set of first degree and this is also true if you subtract this is what i mean by it's closed under addition and subtraction Okay, so to add a polynomial, you just add the terms, and there are two ways to do it, vertical and horizontal. Okay, but make sure you understand this idea. The set of polynomials is closed under addition and subtraction. All right, so let's do some examples. We have A here, 6x plus 15 plus 8x minus 3. Like our explorations, okay? All right, you might already know how to do this from the explorations, but now we're going to fine tune it by giving you some abstract values. Here are the solution. This is called the vertical format. Okay. You write the first term, which is 6x plus 15. Then below it, you write the second term, 8. The second expression, 8x minus 3. Now you just add them. So. What is 15 minus 3, which is a 12? 6x plus 8x becomes 14x, okay? So this is called vertical. Just comes straight down. Very straightforward, okay? Second. the horizontal format okay here we have this and we're going and do you see how it's just left and right all we have to do is we just group the terms and simplify it so notice like before what i was doing was the horizontal format the 3x squared plus the um, x squared are both like terms so here and here these two both belong to the second degree family so they go together. So this is the second degree. Okay, this is the first degree. So this is the first degree. Okay, lastly, this and this is your constant. So this is your constant. All right. And just bring it down. So here, we just add it. So your sum is 4x squared plus 5x plus 4. Again, you, you group the term by their degrees and you simplify. Notice, 
the two the second degrees when you add them it's still the second degree here this is the first degree you add them together it still becomes first degree here these are constant you add them together they're still constant okay now let's do the subtraction subtraction is done almost the same exact same way all right First of all, we have the top value here is the first term. Then we subtract the second term. But notice what we do with that minus. Remember, like our expiration, we turn it into a positive by distributing. So it's basically distributed by multiplying. So here there's a minus 1 that is multiplied here. That becomes 2, 2n. And the negative 1 is going to be multiplied to the Four, so it becomes a negative four. All right. So you come straight down. Five minus four becomes one. Four n plus two n becomes six n. All right. So here you would say the difference would be six n plus one. Notice this is a um, binomial minus a binomial is still also a binomial. Horizontal format, same thing. We write it sideways, but here, how, how do we deal with that negative 1? Again, there's a negative 1 here. So what do we do? We distribute that negative 1 to the first term, to the second term, then we do that to the third term. Should look something like this. Okay. Notice how these all become the sign changes. That happens because we distribute that negative 1. It does not happen due to magic. Again, these signs are changed because we distribute the negative 1. Now we can combine some like terms. Here, this is a second degree. This is a second degree. This is your second degree. So these two should go together. Okay, these two to also go together because these are your first uh, first degree, and these should also go together because those are your constants. Okay, all right. So it should look like that. That's your. This is your. Right. That's your second degree. That's being added together. This is your first degree. That's being added together, and these are all your constants. And again. We write it in this format because it automatically results in standard form. So 4x squared minus 3x squared becomes a 1x squared. Negative 3x plus x becomes negative 2x. And 5 plus 8 just becomes 13. All right. So there you go. The difference there is x squared minus 2x plus 13. Okay. Um, to monitor your progress, I gave you four problems here. Here, you can pause it, try it, then I'm going to go over the solutions. All right, let's go over the first one. Okay. All right, so let's write it. We have b minus 10 plus 4b minus 3. Okay. I only like doing it doing it one way, and it is just uh, vertically, sorry, uh, horizontally. I mean, so this is going to be equal to, okay, these two go together, so that is b plus 4b. Then these two, the negative 10 and the minus 13 goes together, so that's your minus 10 minus 3. So these two are your first term. So b plus 4b becomes 5b. Negative 10 and negative 3 becomes negative 13. Okay. Yep. Good. Second value. We have x squared minus x minus 2 plus 7x squared minus x plus 8. All right. All right. So what do we do? 
Okay, we can combine some terms, second degree and second degree. So that's x squared plus 7x squared. All right. Again, I could put this in a parentheses if it makes you better. Okay, this is the second degree. Okay, then let's do the first degree. So negative 1, negative x and negative x. So negative x plus there was a negative x and also an other negative x, right? This is your first degree. Then your last one, negative 2 and 8. Negative 2 plus 8. And again, this was your constant. All right. So let's do this. Your second degree is x squared plus 7x squared becomes 8x squared. Negative x plus negative x. That becomes negative 2x okay it's still first degree a negative 2 plus 8 becomes a plus 6 all right do you ever write a plus negative 2x no so we can just write it as subtract 2x here plus 6 okay nothing happened there okay so there you go that is your answer let's see if we are correct uh no my answer is wrong i got a 6 here uh, but my answer up there is a negative 2. So this and let's see if we are right or we are wrong. No, we are right. It's a plus 6. So the solution here is wrong. This should be a pointer. All right. This should be a plus 6. All right. Good. Next one. Let's take a look. Here we have subtraction. Okay. So we have k plus 5 minus 3k minus 6. Again, there's a really a negative 1 here that we're going to distribute. So nothing happened to the k plus 5. But here, this is going to be distributed. So this is going to become a negative 3x. Then this becomes the negative here. Once the negative 1 times negative 1 here becomes a positive 1. So that becomes a positive 6. Right? So we have k plus 5 minus 3k plus 6. Again, we can group it. So we have the k minus 3k. Then we have the constants, which is 5 plus 6, right? Oops, I should have, hold on here. This would be like so much. Let me just bring this over to the other side. Okay. Equal, right? These are equal, okay? So, um, x minus 3, k minus, k minus 3k becomes negative 2k, 5 plus 6 becomes an 11. So the answer here should be negative 2k plus 11. That's how you could simplify this. I put p. That is wrong. Um, let me just double check here. Uh, it's k, so, oh, yep, this is wrong. <laughs> So let's just write it. It's negative 2k plus 11. Okay. So this is negative 2k plus 11 would be the correct answer here. All right. Then let's look at the last one. Okay. Let's just write it out here. So p squared plus p plus 3 minus negative 4 p squared minus p plus uh, that's pretty ugly so minus p plus 3 yep sweet okay so again there's a minus 1 out in front okay and you want to distribute that so here, nothing happened here, so we just rewrite it. So p squared plus p plus 3, okay? That's just the first term. All right, the other ones were 
negative 1 times, right, I'm just going to write the arrows on the bottom, negative 1 times negative 4p squared becomes a positive 4p squared, okay? Negative 1 times negative p becomes a positive p. Negative 1 times negative 3 becomes a negative 3. Good? All right. So now we can just combine some terms. p squared plus 4p. So p squared plus 4p squared. That is your second degree plus, let's do our first degree now. p plus p. Right there, p plus p. Then you have your constants, which is your 3 and your minus 3 here. Right? Again, I can just write it here if you would like to see it. This is your second degree. This is your first degree. And these are your constants. All right, so let's simplify. p squared plus 4p squared, that becomes 5p squared plus p plus p becomes 2p. 3 minus 0 becomes 0. So again, you have 5p squared plus 2p. There you go. Those are all your answers. Let's see if I wrote the right answer here. No, I even have k's here. So um, this is wrong. The answer here should have been 5p squared plus 2p. OK, there you go. So there you go. Um, those are all your examples. The next part are just the exercises, OK?